Hi guys, today we are going to discuss about portal circulation. Here we have liver, right and left branch of portal vein and thus there is portal vein, this here is splenic vein and the superior mesenteric vein, this is portal vein and the splenic vein and this one here is superior mesenteric vein. Superior mesenteric vein and splenic vein unites to form the portal vein, which in turn goes to the liver. Here, this is the spleen, which is drained by the splenic vein. Here, this is inferior mesenteric vein. Here, there is kidney. And the renal vein. Here we have a stomach and the left gastric vein which drains the stomach to the portal circulation and the right gastric vein. Here we have short gastric veins connecting the stomach to the spleen. Here we have a vein connecting the portal circulation to the umbilicus which is known as paraumbilical vein. This vein is a fetal vein which closes after birth. It converts into a ligament but still there is a patent lumen present inside which can open when there is rise in pressure in the portal vein. So here we have the pancreas and the pancreatic veins which drain into the splenic vein. From distal half of duodenum to the two third of transverse colon is midgut, which is supplied by superior mesenteric artery. And thus it is drained by superior mesenteric vein. And from two third of transverse colon to upper half of anal canal is hindgut, which is supplied by inferior mesenteric artery, thus drained by inferior mesenteric vein. So, about foregut, foregut is supplied by celiac artery and here we have superior mesenteric vein which drains the midgut and we have inferior mesenteric vein which drains the hindgut up to the upper half of anal canal. Midgut has two important reasons for it to pass through the liver. You can see here so the superior mesenteric vein or inferior mesenteric vein or the splenic vein or the left gastric vein. All of them pass through the liver along the portal vein forming portal circulation. The goal is one to reach the liver. So why these veins need to pass the liver because liver is also known as the kitchen of human body. The midgut supplies the intestine up to the two third of the transverse colon. Thus the main function of midgut is absorption of nutrients and along with nutrients toxins are, are also absorbed. Thus it's necessary that nutrients go to the liver and toxins go to the liver. Nutrients should go to the liver for processing and the toxins for detoxification. About hindgut, the main function of hindgut is absorption of water and salt. This should also pass through the liver. Here we have a splenic vein. There is no specific reason for a splenic vein to reach the liver through the portal vein. but the inferior mesenteric vein which joins the splenic vein and the small pancreatic veins which joins the splenic vein makes it necessary for splenic vein to reach the liver through the portal vein. The stomach has also absorptive function thus making it necessary to reach the liver. Here we have the Inferior vena cava, it has three 
main tributaries that drain from the liver to the inferior vena cava that are right middle and left hepatic veins and thus to the systemic circulation thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it have fun